Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Normal force, the role of weight and angle in affecting frictional force. Answer. Understanding normal force and its impact on frictional force. In everyday life, we often encounter situations involving friction. Think about pushing a heavy box across the floor or trying to slide down a hill. Understanding how friction works requires a grasp of several key concepts, particularly the normal force. What is normal force? The normal force is essentially the support force exerted by a surface that counteracts the weight of an object resting on it. When an object is placed on a flat surface, the normal force acts perpendicular, 90 degrees, to that surface. For example, if you place a book on a table, the table exerts an upward normal force that balances the downward force of gravity, the book's weight. In this case, the normal force equals the weight of the book if the table is horizontal and there are no other vertical forces at play. The role of weight the weight of an object is the force with which it is pulled down towards the earth due to gravity. This weight, W, is calculated as the product of mass, M, and the acceleration due to gravity, G typically measured as approximately 9.81 meters per square second. Example, a book with a mass of 2 kilograms has a weight of W equals mg equals 2 kilograms 9.81 meters per square second equals 19.62 N newtons. Assuming the book is resting on a horizontal table, the normal force, N, exerted on the book by the table will also be approximately 19.62 N. This equality is crucial for the stability of objects at rest. Angle and its effects. When an object is on an inclined surface, like a ramp, the dynamics change. The normal force is no longer equal to the weight of the object because the weight acts at an angle. The weight can be broken down into two components, one acting perpendicular to the surface, which affects the normal force, and one acting parallel to the surface, which contributes to friction. Key concepts. 1. Inclined planes. For an object on an incline at an angle theta, the normal force, N, is less than the weight, W, because only a portion of the weight acts perpendicularly to the surface. The relationship can be described with the formula. N equals W cos theta, where theta is the angle of the incline. 2. Frictional force. The frictional force, F, is calculated as. F equals mu n, where mu is the coefficient of friction, which varies based on the materials in contact. For example, wood on wood has a different mu than rubber on concrete. Therefore, when the normal force decreases, as it does on an incline, the frictional force also decreases. Example. Continuing with our book, if you place it on a ramp inclined at 30 degrees, the weight is still 19.62 n, but the normal force is n equals 19.62 n cos, 30 degrees, equals approximately 17.00 n. If the coefficient of friction between the book and the ramp is 0.4, the frictional force is calculated as F equals mu n equals 0.417.00 n equals approximately 6.8 n. This means that it is easier to slide the book down the ramp compared to sliding it on the flat table because the normal force, and thus the friction, has decreased. Practical Applications Understanding normal force and friction is crucial in many real-world scenarios. 1. Engineering and Construction Engineers must calculate normal forces when designing ramps, roads, or any surfaces where loads are involved. This ensures safety and functionality. For example, ensuring cars can safely drive up or down a slope road. 2. Sports. In sports, athletes need to understand how angles affect their grip, friction, and how they can optimize their movements, especially in sports like skiing or skateboarding. 3. Furniture design. When designing furniture with inclined surfaces, like a slanted bookshelf, manufacturers need to consider how much weight a shelf can support without sliding, which requires understanding normal forces and friction. 4. Everyday tasks. From moving furniture to driving on roads, understanding how weight and angles affect friction can help people make informed decisions about how to manage these tasks safely and efficiently. Conclusion and summary, the normal force is a critical concept that plays a fundamental role in our understanding of friction.
Weight and angle significantly influence both the normal force and the resulting frictional force. By understanding these concepts, one can predict how different surfaces and inclines will impact the movement of objects, leading to safer and more effective interactions with the physical world around us.